Hey everybody! Welcome back to Home Sweet Homes. Today's video is extra special. It is a collaboration hosted by Jesse over at the Hodgepodge Life of Jesse. So I thought it would be fun to do um, a cute little idea. It'll be a really quick, simple, easy recipe. And the collaboration theme is a food made from like your favorite holiday movie. So I'm gonna start getting my cheese ready. I like freshly shredded cheese. So I'm gonna hack it in this big brick, get the trees ready, and then we will toss the rest of the fun, easy, delicious recipe. And I wonder if you'll guess along the lines of what it is. Look at all this freshly shredded, beautiful cheese. Yum! Let's get rolling. That is so good. Do you have kids in your house that need to sample as you go? <laughs> I sure do. That is the most delicious cheese in the world. I know. Fun clues. Have you figured out what we're gonna make? A lovely cheese pizza just for me. Well, I hope you guessed personal pizzas from one of my favorite Christmas movies. You know, the whole family loves it and it's just a classic to watch every year. And can you beat feeding kids and yourself pizza? Who doesn't love pizza? We do. So let's assemble our own personal cheese pizzas. So I cheated and I bought a bag of pre-made little tiny pizza crusts. Get these out. Simple directions on the back is preheat your oven to 400, top with your favorite toppings, place on cookie sheets, and all you need to do is bake it for five minutes. If you used pre-shredded cheese, this would go even faster, but I don't mind taking a little bit extra time and shredding my own cheese. Get two started. I think two will fit on my pan right now. Yeah. And then I'm going to use some marinara sauce because that's what I have open already in the fridge. Give it a little stir. Marinara smells so good. Start this, see how much we need. We like saucy pizzas and the key is getting the, all the toppings, including the sauce, all the way to the edge. A lot of times kids don't like pizza crust, but if there is no visible crust, they'll eat the whole thing. So you waste less. So you'd win there. Okay. We like it pretty saucy, so I'm gonna be generous. All right, we have sauce all the way covering the crust. And then, hang on, sis. The secret to making delicious pizza, in my opinion, is adding pizza seasoning. But what I like to do is I like to spread it or shake it into the cheese and mix it up. So then it sticks to the cheese that we just fresh shredded and you know it really sticks and you get that good pizza flavor through your whole toppings. And like you saw, we decided to do Munster and sharp cheddar. You can use whatever cheese you like. This is what I had on hand and what we prefer. Also, don't be shy with your pizza seasoning. It's delicious and it is a pizza, right? This is the perfect time to go go ham. I don't thought that was silly. So we're gonna just kind of toss up our cheese, mix up both flavors and the seasonings. Throw some. 
Okay. Now, from the movie, Kevin McAllister's favorite pizza was cheese. So I am going to make one cheese, but I think I might add pepperoni, or maybe two cheese and add pepperoni to the others because we are gonna be eating these and most of the family prefers pepperoni. They'll eat any pizza, but who doesn't like a little extra spunk on their pizza? And we are from Wisconsin, so there's no such thing as too much cheese on your pizza. So go ahead, go crazy. I don't think you'll regret it. Okay, that one's a nice mountain. I'm gonna do a little handful on this one, spread it around and see if we need any more. You don't even have to do a blend of cheeses, really. You can just do like a white cheese, but we like it. All right. All right, so we have the two personal pizzas, cheese pizzas. We are going to toss these in the oven and get them baking. And while I'm gonna set these aside and work on the other ones just cause I'm doing it, might as well make all of them in the bag. Pizzas are out of the oven, sizzling and crackling away. Look at those cheesy pizzas and pepperoni fillings. So in about less than 10 minutes, I made four personal pizzas, for each, one for each of us for lunch today. Perfect. Let's get them cut up and served up. So the other reason I picked Home Alone is because there's not just one food in there that is super fun to have for everyone. The last part is dessert. Now in both of the, or the first two Home Alone movies, uh, Kevin orders himself huge ice cream sundaes. What do you mean? Guys, I'm eating junk and watching rubbish. Yeah. You better come out and stop me. My kids are so excited that I'm filming this video today so they get to enjoy the pizza and ice cream. So we don't usually serve too much dessert like this with this much sugar, so I'm going to make two smaller versions, ones for each of the kids in these bowls. And for ice cream, I'm just going to use some store brand French vanilla. And then for toppings, we're going to use some mini M&M's. I chopped up some cashews for the nice salty crunch, and then their choice Something I have never bought in my whole 33 years of life is Hershey's strawberry flavored syrup. Let's get them all together. What is more fun on like in the Christmas season, especially since we don't eat this very very often, to have big sundaes with all these fun toppings? So let's go big. I really like the French vanilla ice cream. It's got like the yellow tint. Oh, it just has more of a rich, delicious flavor. Okay. Maybe I'll zoom you in so you can see all the magic happening. Let's get these Sundays loaded. Now, I just got like a dollar box of M&M's because we're only gonna use a couple. And then they can have some for a treat tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Ooh, a bonus one bounced in. And then just a few cashews. They love nuts. But they've never had them on a Sunday, I don't think so. We're gonna try it. This stuff it's really runny. <laughs> oh, you know. Now that tastes good. That doesn't look very good to me. Here. 
here they are. Beautiful, fun, colorful Sundays. Just in time to go watch the first Home Alone again. All right, you filthy animals. Thank you so much for coming along with us on this Home Alone lunch and dessert video. If you like this kind of content, please give us big this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. We like to do as many fun things as possible around here. It kind of helps make the time go by when we're all being like safer at home and things like that. So thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Keep the change, you filthy animals.